Hello, Ralph Bean here, Fedora Modularity Working Group Sprint number 10. Uh, one of my cards this sprint was to set up messaging infrastructure between Fedora Infrastructure's staging environment and the external development environment that we have set up for the Modularity Working Group in the Fedora Infrastructure Cloud. These two message buses are not uh, connected from the outset, so we had to do some wiring so that things we were developing in our cloud environment could talk to the things in the staging environment and, and back and forth. So uh, I'll demo that connection. Uh, let's start here by editing the fed message config on my local machine. Go down to do it. You'll see that I'm by default I'm connected to the production bus right here from Fedora Infrastructure. So I'm going to comment that out because it's kind of spammy. It'll make things hard to see for the demo. Um, development server, and I'll add a new entry here for the Fedora Modularity uh, Cloud environment. That's modularity.fedora infra cloud. What? Did I type it wrong? No, I got it good. Port 4001. And you can subscribe to this too from your own box if you go and, and type this stuff in. Uh, so I'll save that. Um, got that running right here. We'll open up a new pane over here, and I will SSH to that. Uh, cloud environment. And let's see if I run fed message tail on my local box, and if I echo testing into fed message logger on the cloud box, what happens? <gasps> Look, it, ha it made it all the way to my local machine. That's great. Um, so what we really want to happen, though? Oops, I'm going get these windows set. Here is we want to SSH into the uh, compose box in our staging infrastructure, and we want to make sure that it can receive messages from that. It's not we're not really interested in my local laptop receiving those messages. We're interested in the staging infrastructure getting those messages. So uh, let's do that. You can see here if I uh, oh, no play message dot d endpoints external composer right. This is a, a file that's managed by Ansible that shows that the the um, staging environment just on this one compose box is connected uh, to that um, modularity cloud environment. Uh, and so if we run fed message tail, really pretty. And then we echo a testing message from the modularity cloud box again. Let's see. Oh, look, it shows up both on my laptop and in the staging environment. That's great. Cool. So that's one direction. We want to go from the cloud environment to the staging environment, but we also want to be able to go from the staging environment back to the cloud environment. There's reasons for this. We have these multiple systems that need to interact uh, together in concert to, to build and record the building of modules. Um, so let's, let's demo that here. Up here, uh, I will... In this, I'm going to SSH into that cloud environment again. And I'm going to run fed message tail. Well, let's let's look at the um, excuse me. Let's look at the fed message configuration in the cloud environment for uh, for listening. And we'll look at endpoints.py. Uh, and if we look down here, we can see that we are currently subscribed uh, only to the production bus. But instead, I want to subscribe to the staging bus because all the messages that come out of staging are, are going to be coming from this um, composer.stg box as well as other boxes in the, the staging environment. To reduce spam for the demo, I'll comment out production, although we want to keep that uh, for when we're, we're doing our other work. Um, so I'll save that. Uh, run fed message tail on the cloud environment. And if I come over here to my staging composer box, Right here, and if I publish a message from there, now in order to make this work from staging, we had to look in. Uh, if you got my fed message, see um, here that we have a cert just for the modularity work that's owned by the modularity working group, which means that our members are able to, with uh, unprivileged access on this box, able to, to publish messages, which is good. It's what we want. We don't want to have to give privileged rights out because we have. Mount Koji mounted on this machine, and we don't want people mucking with that. So uh, that is the reasoning for that that stuff. So let's try echoing, oops, echo testing into fed message logger, and we're going to use a cert prefix of modularity. That's the one we want to use because we're, we're modularity people. So let's see if we hit it. And it's good. Look, it showed up in the cloud environment over here. So, so that's the extent of the demo. We can get messages from one environment to the other, and from the other environment back to the other without compromising any of the the the, the constraints that we had in place, like not having to grant uh, administrator privileges to modularity users uh, in the staging environment, which was, was key and, and a little tricky. So um, thanks very much.